Ho ho, what's going on, man? What's good, bro? How you feeling? You ready? Yep. Hey, I see something like that. I feel, yeah. Let's get it. I'm gonna catch it. I bet. It's still early in the season, and teams are still trying to figure out rotations. Greg, what's it like to play in a game like that tonight? Well, for a lot of these guys, Kevin, it's all about jockeying for a position, making an argument for minutes, and you want to earn the trust of your coaches. So the New York starting five, Randall and Robinson will be the inside pair. Jalen Brunson out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Barrett at the three slot. And the first of many to come. Explosive offensive talent on both sides. And if everything goes to plan, this could be a very fun matchup to watch. And so it's the Knicks getting on the board first. Booker looking around. Shot clock at five. Over quickly. Booker's shot is good. The pure shot mechanics of Booker. It's fun watching him shoot the ball. Here's quickly turned in an outstanding game against Golden State. Randall is screen on Bridges. There at the pass to Randall. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Mr. Clutch gets the bucket. And you look at the leader. And MP has become great. He encompasses everything you want from a team captain. You can lead by example, build teammates up. Also, will he get in your face when necessary? MP is probably one of the best leaders in locker room presence in the entire NBA. They're finding every shot they've wanted so far a perfect three of three to start the game. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And you gotta love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. And growing up around basketball, R.J. Barrett's dad played a bunch of places. R.J. spending a lot of his childhood in France. Now here's Brunson. Nine points last game. Robinson kicks it quickly. Brunson with a clean look. Rebound by the Suns. If he gets that look again, he should take it. You can't let one miss scare you off of a very good shot. Here's Barrett. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance. Creating the contact there to draw the foul. Greg, you know this. One of R.J. Barrett's dad's best friends, former MVP Steve Nash. Yeah, and Nash is R.J.'s godfather, no less. So Barrett's had a chance to kind of soak in the game his entire life. And you can see that in his intelligent play on the floor. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Brunson. He isn't playing a big part of their offensive scheme, averaging around 15 and a half points a game. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Here's Booker. Jalen Brunson picking up that last basket. And the call will be against Julius Randle. That's his first foul. First team foul. Substitution on the court. There's two sides to this game. Where's the DMP? Jalen Brunson. We've got 155 left here in the first quarter. Booker outside. Lock at six. Come on, come on.
And that one falls for Barrett. Now, Greg, a disappointing ending to the playoffs last season, certainly for the Phoenix Suns. Well, came in the top seed in their conference only to make a second-round exit after a grueling Game 7. So this season might be revenge time for this group. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Monty Williams has on the floor. The small and power forwards are Bridges and Johnson. Mr. Clutch out there with Devin Booker, and it's Crowder and at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much, guys. Growing up, Mitchell Robinson didn't play basketball, but a seven-inch growth spurt in the eighth grade changed things. He fell to the 36th pick overall in 2018, but his physical tools have made him a presence. One key to his success, he says, just run the floor. If you're the first man down the court, you can get the ball. Kevin, that sounds pretty simple to me. It does to me, too. Keep it simple and use that athleticism. David, thanks. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Brunson finds Fournier. They get the rebound. Launches it. He's off on that one. Suns trail by three. Right wing takes the three. Mr. Clutch's shot is off. New York's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Pass to Barrett. From past the arc. No good that time. Now the Suns take it the other way. This game coming after a loss against the Jazz. Yeah, I mean, in that one, you really saw a difference in aggression between the two teams, particularly on the board. The poor rebounding is something that they'll have to shore up going forward. It puts you at such a disadvantage when you look at the battle of possessions. Here's Fournier. Devin Booker picking up that last basket. Randall is screen on Booker. Fournier with the ball, and it's Johnson picking him up. And it goes down two points. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. And Greg, just like you, Julius Randle is a softball. Left-handed. Yeah, and you know, the angles are different for lefties. where We operate a little differently. And I think that can throw defenders off. So I'm always going to pull for the softball. And Barrett gets it to go. After failing to knock down anything from deep in the first quarter, he's got two to go here in the second. On the wing, Booker. 141 left to play in the first half. Again, the miss by Booker. And I like the bold move of going right back at him to return the three, but he just couldn't get it to go. Count that bucket. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Welcome to halftime. You know what? I always talk about closing out possessions. Okay, now let's take a look at. Thanks for joining us. Now. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, R.J. Barrett has been exceptional here, guys. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. I like how they came into this one with a game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. Setting the floor for the Knicks. The forward spots will be Barrett and Randall. Jalen Brunson out there with Emmanuel Quick, And it's Robinson in at the center, filling out the middle. They now take the lead. Crowder's got the lead up to two now for Phoenix. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Randall with a screen for Brunson. This is to Randall. The pass to Barrett. Some nice passing by New York here. 
Here's quickly. Shot from the wing. And that one hits back iron. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. First person to foul. First team foul. Great for our audience. Can you explain what that's about? It's a great point, Kevin. And, and listen, the two defenders on what we call the boxes, that's down in the low post there. And you see those two boxes down at the end of the free throw line. And then you have the two defenders on the elbows. That's the edge of the free throw line. The idea to close down the paint. Now here's Crowder taking a look at his numbers. He averages about seven points a game. Here's Booker on the money from 12 feet away. Booker's got nine. Throw out those analytics. When Booker is taking a 15, 20 footer, that's a great look for him and his squad. Quickly the pass to Brunson. Randall is screen on Bridges. Barrett against Bridges. And then Randall slams it in. <laughs> you gotta have guts and hops to pull off a dump like that. Randall got a lot of both. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Trills it from outside. And that's 11 points for Mr. Clutch. Something lit a fire under them at the half. They started this quarter going three for three from the floor. Bobbed up there for Robinson. An emphatic LU champ. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Now here's Crowder. Passes it to Mr. Clutch. Cranes the three-pointer. Mr. Clutch has got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Suns. Barrett against Bridges. Shoots from 12, and he knocks down the jumper. 15 points in the game. And this is Barrett at his best, looking for a shot, being active on offense. Love it. Crowder, the pass to Mr. Clutch. Another three for Phoenix. All these threes they're giving up have three. New York Hawks. that has done a complete 180 look no further than the Phoenix Suns. Before 2021, they hadn't even been to the playoffs in 10 years. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Monty Williams has on the floor. On the forward, they'll have Bridges and Crowder. Mr. Clutch out there with Booker, and it's Sharich in at the center position. And here is Quickly after the three-pointer from Mr. Clutch. Quickly finds Randall. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. In just four seasons, Phoenix Gregg went from last in the conference to the best record in the entire NBA. It's been an unbelievable story. And there's a lot of talent on this team, not to mention a great coach in Monty Williams. The future is bright for this franchise. Here's quickly after Mikel Bridges' bucket. The rim-rattling two-handed jam. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot. But when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. You'll take it. Here's Charge. Lee Paz was put in just the right spot. Charge has got four points now in the quarter. And how about capitalizing there in close? Sarge has the touch to take advantage from just about anywhere. Yep, it goes in, and the Suns' lead is cut down to three points. Nice bucket there from Quickly. I mean, he's just been brilliant today, guys, and it was the same exact story last time out. Now here's Crowder to the wing right side. Mr. Clutch, another three for Phoenix. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets 
are from three-point range. Out to the right wing. That's a two from Randall. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. And led by as many as 14 points. Mr. Clutch gets the bucket. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And, of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. And here's Randall after the three-pointer from Mr. Clutch. Can't convert off the spin. It's stolen by Randall, and Randall throws it down. Not enough defense there. Allowing Randall to get that close is a recipe for disaster. Here's Crowder. It's stolen by Reddish. Two free throws. team he said if we're going to pull this out we have to do it as a team we have to rely on one another trust one another and help one another let's go get this Kevin back to you thank you David they grabbed their own miss here's church and second foul second team foul at the line for your whatever is asked of and New York making a change here. Brunson's checked in, and he is unable to get the second one. Knicks trail by seven. Quickly the pass to Randall, and Randall throws it down. And you'll never see Randall back down in a big moment. He's looking to be the guy when they need a button. Now, here's Bridges. Mr. Clutch. He feeds it to Crump. Uses the glass that time, and it's good. And the Suns lead by seven. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Brunson's got 11 in the second half. A fantastic decision-making big. Randall with the right choice there, finding the open man. Outside Crowder, this one for three. The shot misses, and New York will come the other way. Pass to Barrett, shoots over Crowder. Barrett, no good. That is not a bad decision to pull from there. It was just a little bit. It's the first that increases their lead to six. And so both free throws are good. And it's a seven-point game. You no know, mistakes there. Good free throws to give them just a little bit more cushion. 30 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Randall. Good! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And we've seen Randall add a three-point. In the area of the court, he's most comfortable. That mid -range. So the first one drops, and that increases their lead to six. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a seven-point game. Time for it. There's 25 seconds left in the game. Off the mark from 16 feet out. And Phoenix can just let the clock run down here. There's Mr. Clutch. Kicks it to Crowder. There's Mr. Clutch. Fires the three on the money. He is getting everything he wants. The defense is seemingly powerless to slow him down. And so it's Phoenix easily grabbing this one. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor. Completely under control for the Vap. 
sir. Dang, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, man. You look good out there. Look, look. Let me see you around.